Welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at a infamous British bootmaker, Edward Green. As we look at our brand and showcase, uh, the next couple videos are really going to focus in on brands that made their mark by making boots during wartime. Now, um, this is not uncommon for bootmakers, uh, both uh, now and in the past. Edward Green uh, really made its mark uh, by getting the contract for the British Army. And um, uh, people got to know um, the shoes and the boots from that time, and it really uh, continued. But they got their origins were further back in 1890. But uh, it is an interesting aspect of the shoemaking industry that, you know, that's really where a lot of these brands got their big break. Uh, because as you know, business requires um, volume. And that's something that uh, certainly has changed over time. And in the evolution of the modern uh, bootmaker or shoemaker, what they don't have is they don't have every man a woman and child wearing their shoes because most people wear cemented garbage, uh, which most people who are, uh, you know, in in this particular uh, vein of interest uh, don't uh, don't like. But um, so so as we look at Edward Green, they've really stuck to some of the old time quality standards uh, that uh, they've started that they started with initially. Now, I have a book here that I'm, I'm um, basing some of my commentary on, but mostly um, I'm gonna share some pictures with you from, which is Shoes, The Art of Male Footwear by Hugo Jacquemet and Sonia Glenn. And I've uh, referred to a number of different brands um, that are in this book as part of this series. And Edward Green is just a phenomenal example of of that now um we've gone through some of the british schools the 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 italian school um we even touched on you know saint crispin's um uh outside of that but edward green um is i think the last brand um that we'll touch on that's in the book and i do think that it's a great place to close out our coverage of this wonderful tome on um modern footwear uh, now, um, you know, when you look at some of the pictures that are captured in this book, um, you've got the Galway boot, you've got their great use of hatch grain, um, your, your Balmoral jumper, just beautiful things. And of course, the classic spectator um, that I would not have associated Edward Green with. So I think that that's also pretty funny. Um, when I first thought of Edward Green and when I first learned of Edward Green, I really focused in on, on just the plain black toe, uh, you know, swan neck um, Oxford. And then my sights moved on to this shoe, which is the Dover. And um, the Dover is where we're going to spend our time focusing in today. Um, and I have a summer loafer as well, but my, my collection of Edward Green is limited. Um, and I promise you that has everything to do with the $1,600 price tag of a pair of these shoes. Um, now I'm not allergic to spending money on shoes as, as all of you know, um, but this is an exceptional amount to spend on a pair. And, um, you know, the brands that, uh, that I've invested in that are at this level, or few, um, you know, they are St. Crispin's, uh, Francis Wapplinger, um, Acme, Edward Green, and um, uh, recently I've picked up a pair of uh, Corthe. Uh, but um, these are not uh, these are not inexpensive, and um, are 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 quite the shoe, um, but they are phenomenal. Now I elected to get this pair um, with rubber soles. Um, now, I did not pay retail for these. I found these on eBay, um, but they have a day-night sole. But when you look at the detail throughout the shoe, the stitch density here, up here, the type of um, Norwegian weld that's done, 
And I know that the guys who sew this, um, they're on a, um, a Northampton shoe group with me and just uh, great guys. And uh, this is um, family tradition at Edward Green. Um, father, son, and grandson actually do all of these type of stitching, which is very, very cool. Um, when you look stitch density here, stitch density there, proportions of the heel cap, the way that this is clicked, the way that this is sewn, lasted, and then of course, that toe. My goodness. You know, Edward Green is, um, it's, it's just everything you would want in men's shoes. Um, except that it, it, it's valuable and, and, uh, you know, they, they're able to uh, command the price that they do. Um, I'm not going to say that it's not worth it. Um, it is a lot to pay for shoes, but it is a, um, it is a heavy, heavy price. Um, but, uh, you know, they do fine work and fine work has value. Now this is a summer loafer and I did the review on these. Uh, this is the Pulpero. Uh, these are the Dover, by the way. Um, this is the Pulpero. The Pulpero is either cemented or Blake stitched. It's a very, very thin sole and it's very unstructured. I mean, there's literally nothing to it, right? I mean, it's, but it is a cool baby suede. The heel is just so, it's a very well-made um, loafer, even if it is <laughs> cemented, which is funny because, um, you know, cemented shoes are just something that are not.